Hello. My name is Cicada. Mm -hmm. And today I will be your nap coach. Now, tell me, how are you feeling today? Today, I want to kind of go over with you the basics as well as techniques to napping and how to make the most out of your midday nap. Mm -hmm. So, or do you have any questions for me before we really get started? Okay. Um, yes. Mm-hmm. I did get my bachelor's from Cornell University. I uh, received my bachelor's in sleep deprivation as well as cognitive science and after I moved on to Harvard mm -hmm. and there I received my doctorates in social sciences and from there I began my research on characterizing quality of life and um, I have found that it is somewhat quantifiable to measure happiness. Mm -hmm. And so I continued doing this research for about 10 years and from there I moved on and I noticed that I kept coming back to the same category and I felt a need of to help people with this and um, throughout my research I have discovered that napping is far more important than we ever thought. We now have proof in our research that napping can help improve your memory especially of things that you learned earlier in the day mm -hmm. you can um, take naps to help you retain information better um, and you can think of a nap as a short replay in your mind mm -hmm, of what has happened earlier in the day now I understand that depending on the day you have been having that can be a little bit daunting but please understand that it is 
absolutely pertinent for the functionality of our minds. Mm -hmm. When we are napping, we are also increasing our verbal recall. Mm -hmm. So, when we begin to implement a structured, somewhat structured napping schedule into our life, uh, there will be a chain reaction of positive consequences. So, your overall mental perception will feel increased, you will feel more alert, you may even notice that you are able to piece together bits of information that maybe previously you were not able to do. And in turn, you will feel your confidence, you will feel it boosted. So, you will begin feeling sharper, you will start retaining more information, and simply Receiving your environment better than you were before. Everything will just begin to make a little bit more sense than it did before. So, at this point, do you have any questions for me? Okay, that is an excellent question. Um, so, let me just paraphrase and you let me know if this is what you mean. Will napping affect your nighttime sleep? Okay. Alrighty. Well, there are a few factors that, yes, can affect the outcome, but with me as your nap coach, and creating a structure, it will not affect it in a negative way. You should be able to fall asleep easier at night, in fact. Mm -hmm. um, when you are napping earlier in the day, you are giving yourself that quick break, that reassessment, retention. Mm -hmm. So at night, you are less stressed. There is such thing as being over-exhausted to the point of finding it very difficult to fall asleep at night. Mm -hmm. And also, by creating a routine of any sort in our life is a form of mental sanctuary for ourselves. Mm -hmm. It is something that our minds find relaxing. We are 
doing repetition, doing something over and over in a positive light as well, doing some good for ourselves. Mm -hmm. And so once I use my nap time calculator, we can begin to um, put this and implement this into your life. Once we begin to implement this into your life, it will begin to improve your mental acuity and your quality of life. And subsequently, we will also be training our minds to shut down when we need it to, okay? I want you to understand something. You deserve peace. You deserve happiness. You deserve sleep. Okay? Now, let's get started with the calculator, shall we? Okay. Now, please tell me, what is your height? And what is your last known weight? Okay. What is your current diet like? Um, about how many times a week? Category. Alrighty. And what is your current occupation? And how many hours a week do you work? Okay. Let it... It fluctuates, yes. Okay. Um... Are you mostly on your feet? Are you sitting? But you do both. Okay. okay. And for about how long on that one? Okay. Daily. Would you say your weekly activity level was? Um, weekly activity level? Um, I guess that can be perceived as subjective. Um, I'm looking for how much would you say that you exercised? If you don't exercise, 
how uh, often would you say that you exert yourself? Maybe even detail what you do to exert yourself. It will give me a better idea of what category to put you in. Consider that to be um, what a lot of people are doing. Yes. Okay. How much sleep would you say you are currently getting in one night? Take your blood pressure. Is that all right with you? If you could hand me your arm. something. I will be listening to your heart, monitoring your heart rate while I just say a few random words. Now there is no need to respond or say anything at all. I'm just going to be listening. Mm-hmm. And all I need for you to do is to relax, okay? Okay. Okay. I am just gonna come right here. Okay. Rabbit, okay. Cloud, okay. Stapler, stapler, okay. Just come back here, okay. So, purple. Mm -hmm. Let me just check. Oh, 
Visualization. Buffet. Concert. Work. Child. Time. Okay. okay, good. I'm going to calculate your optimal map length. So cross-referencing all the information that I have received over the course of my research at Harvard, I have been able to determine that your perfect nap time should be 17 minutes. Mm -hmm. Yes? Okay, of course I can share. Um, typically, my clients um, have a 15 minute. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but it seems that as of right now, your body is in need of a little bit more recuperation. Mm -hmm. I would suggest that most people never take longer than a 20 minute nap. This will induce the, the fog and the grogginess associated with naps. Yeah. Now, when taking a nap, one thing that we can do to improve the quality is the blanket or fabric that we use. Mm -hmm. So come follow me to my table I have set up and we can further discuss fabrics. Alright, now the first one that I wanted to talk to you about was cotton. Just a regular cotton sheet. Mm -hmm. Now cotton, unfortunately, I do not have readily available to show to you, but we have all seen one. Now in my studies, I have learned that cotton is very light, light fabric, and there will typically be not much bunching up if you Toss, maybe turn. So it's not 
restrictive, not too heavy. It has been linked with lighter dreams as well. Mm -hmm. Now, we will move on to the, the throw. Very classic. You leave it on your couch. So this one is obviously thicker than a standard sheet. This one in particular is acrylic. Alrighty. We have some tassels, quite fun, and stripes. So, this is very nice. It will offer a little bit more thickness. If you are cold, it is still very light. So, once again, this will promote a Lighter sleep. So I would not anticipate having a very deep, deep rest. With this, you should be able to come back. Feeling very, very alert. Mm -hmm. This would be a nice option as well. If you are taking the car route, you can purchase something like this and just leave it in the back. Mm -hmm. Very easy to just pick up and go. Okay. Now, another classic material is quilt. Quilt material. I personally think that it is a little bit more rough. Mm hmm So, I think this would also be nice for a situation if you are away from home. To use something like this, not too large. And so, we have our wheat. Blanket getting a little bit heavier. This may offer a bit more security to you. This will also fight off the bunching. So if you are someone who has RLS, this would be a good option. Mm -hmm. Quite old fashioned. But still comfortable. As you can touch. Mm. And this is a fabric that I would also say does not need to be washed as often. So that's something to consider are out and about doing your napping. 
This could be good. So your sleep may be slightly deeper with the material like this. If that is what you are craving. Now we have this material. I would consider this to be a home napping blanket. It's very fluffy on the side. And on the inside, you can see it is smooth. So, this has a variety of textures. You get two texture choices. You may want to sleep with the furry side down, pressed against your skin, or the smooth side, making contact with you personal preference. I will say this blanket is more weighted than the previous ones and for some people this may be restricting of their independence to move a little bit more freely as they sleep. And thus will cause maybe some stressful dreams, but do note that the stressful dreams can be good as your brain is working through how to handle certain situations. Hmm. <sighs> Mm hmm Yes. So, this one is 100% polyester. Yes. Now, this one is very, very similar to the last, visually speaking, but there are some key factors to consider. Meanwhile, we have this smooth side. And a fluffier underside. It may not look it, but this blanket is a little heavier and it actually retains so much heat. If you are someone who gets very hot, while you are sleeping, this is not for you. Mm -hmm. Mm 
if you are typically the one who is cold when everyone is doing just fine. This will be your blanket. It is heavier. There will be some bunching if you move a lot. Mm -hmm. So please consider that. But this blanket, this type of blanket, will provide you with the deepest sleep. Although some people may not like the sensation of a weighted blanket, they do promote the deepest sleep for a nap. I will be sending you home with all of these and I want you to feel free to try all of them. Okay? Alright. Alright, let's head back. Alright, so now I would like to talk about location and the location of your nap. Mm-hmm. Now, if you are at home, I would personally suggest taking a nap in your bed. Mm -hmm. I think this is typically where we feel most comfortable. It's where we shut down at the end of the day and there is some training there with our minds to rest, rest in our beds. Mm -hmm. Of course, you can feel free to sleep on the couch. I would recommend sleeping somewhere where your body is not bunched up. So if you have a smaller couch, where your, your entire body doesn't um, fully lay flat. If you have the option of bed versus couch, I would go with bed. Mm-hmm. Now, we are not always going to be home to take a nap. No. Um, if you are out at work or traveling, at work I would suggest taking a nap in the car. Yes. I would strongly advise against taking a nap in the break room for several reasons. Um, work can be a stressful environment. So you are kind of keeping your mind there. Um, and you just will not be receiving that top-notch quality that we want. Mm -hmm. um, also, it uh, can potentially affect the way superiors receive us. Mm -hmm. And um, depending on co-workers, um, it just may not be suitable. Mm -hmm. So, 
I would suggest if you go to your car that if you have an SUV to fold down mm -hmm, the rear seats and sleep on the flattest surface that you can mm -hmm. if uh, we are implementing this daily into our lives I would suggest a pillow Mm -hmm. and your blanket of choice mm -hmm. so also I'm going to send you home with one of these mm -hmm. I find it to be incredibly soft very soft um, and it looks like this where your eyes would rest and it should fit you quite nice so you would just simply Place it over your eyes, like so, and this will help block out any light. Mm -hmm. Not all of it, but definitely most of it. If you intend on taking car nap. I would highly suggest using one of these because if a passerby sees you, they may not be so worried about you that um, potentially something a little more serious than a nap has taken place. Mm -hmm. It will look intentional. Yes. Thank you. So, just remember that you are starting out. I don't want you to take longer than 17 minutes to nap. Yeah, no 30 minute naps or anything like that. Your first couple of times napping may be a bit rough. Mm-hmm. And that's okay. You may not get your full 17, but I do not want you to continue trying past, past your timer or alarm going off, okay? Even simply resting our eyes, you will still receive some benefits from there, but obviously once you work and build up to a proper nap regimen, you will, you will see a higher number of benefits and improvements. Mm -hmm. So, I want you to Fill out the nap journal that I provided you and I would love to talk with you about your naps next time that we speak, okay? Okay. Alrighty. Well, I will see you again soon, okay?